Oh, see this guy right here. And last two cam. Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the OnePlus 7T to the OnePlus 7 Pro in terms of performance and gaming. First, I'm gonna go over the specs, then I'm gonna show some gameplay of, e of both of these phones as well as benchmarks to let you see a comparison of the performance difference between the phones. So for the OnePlus 7T, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus, which is an 8-core CPU using the 7 nanometer process, and it clocks up to 2.96 gigahertz. For the GPU, it has the Adreno 640, and as for RAM, it only has 8 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. For storage, it also has 128 gigabytes of UFS 3.0, and as for the display, it's using a 1080p AMOLED display, which is pretty good. Uh, for this phone and it's definitely better for battery life than higher resolution screens. The OnePlus 7 Pro is rocking the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 which is also an 8 core 7 nanometer CPU and it clocks up to 2.84 gigahertz. For the GPU it's also using the Adreno 640 and as for RAM this particular model has 12 gigabytes of LPDDR4X RAM. And as for storage this uh, particular OnePlus 7 Pro that I have has 256 gigabytes of UFS 3.0. So pretty much the only difference between these phones is the RAM and the processor. So for the 7 Pro, it has four gigabytes of extra RAM, which I'm not sure it's gonna offer much better gaming performance. But for the 7T, it has a slightly higher clock processor, so this might help with performance. And I hear in some cases it helps uh, gaming performance up to 10%. So this is going to be kind of interesting to see if the better CPU is better or having more RAM is better. Or if they're just going to be the same because mobile games generally do cap at 60 frames per second. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with the OnePlus 7 Pro in Call of Duty Mobile. So I'm going to click start right now and uh, just join a random game. And for my graphic settings, I set everything to max or very high just because I want to really test out the phone. So I'm in the game right now in, in the map and um, it looks pretty smooth so far. Too bad there's no FPS counter so I can't see exactly how many frames I'm getting per second. But I'm assuming it's at least 60 because it's really smooth. Okay, so now I'm picking my class and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, got one guy. So right now it's been pretty smooth, uh, I haven't noticed any frame drops and the phone isn't really getting hot at all. And this is probably due to the liquid cooling system since it has a liquid cooled heat pipe inside the phone. I'm not sure if it's really taking advantage of the 90Hz refresh rate because I um, can't really tell if it's smoother than 60 frames per second and I died. Uh, to keep this game short, I'm just going to end this game right over here and uh, move on to a different game. Okay, now I'm starting the game Asphalt 9 on the OnePlus 7 Pro 3, 2, 1, and we're starting. So yeah, right now it's really smooth. Um, not sure how many frames I'm getting, but it's pretty smooth. The graphics look really good as well. Um, the colors are really colorful. The snow is really detailed. And of course the car is also pretty sharp as well. Yeah, I kind of suck at this game because I'm not even first place. I don't even play Asphalt 9 that much, but I just wanted to show this in the video in case you were curious about how this game performs. I'm gonna move on to a different game, so don't make this video too long. Uh, I think I'll just do PUBG right now. I don't really like this game either, but for the sake of this video, I'll just show gameplay of it. 
Okay, so now I'm in the lobby of uh, PUBG for OnePlus on the OnePlus 7 Pro. I'm gonna click record right now. And right now I'm in the pre-game lobby on the starting island or whatever this is called. It looks pretty smooth right now. I'm not sure of the frame rate. Uh, but I have all my settings up to max for maximum graphics, max frame rate and everything. The sky looks really blue, the grass looks pretty sharp as well. Everything's pretty detailed and the trees look very green. So that's a good sign that it's performing well. I'm just gonna jump off immediately and leave my group because I wanna get some decent gameplay. Okay, I just jumped and I'm gonna land really quickly. Yeah, so jumping off the plane doesn't really cause any FPS drops. Uh, it's not getting stuttery. It's still pretty smooth. So I'm just approaching the land. And right now the view distance um, doesn't seem to be very far because everything looks kind of soft until you get a little bit closer. And I have my parachute right now, so I'm gonna hit the floor and then start getting some boot. So I'm running around right now um, on the grass and I don't see anyone. Doesn't seem to be doing very bad. The game still performs pretty smooth. Was that a person? Oh my god. It, it's a person. No, my screen recorded thing. No! My screen recorded thing is getting in the way. Okay, I moved it. I'm moving it. Oh, okay. Oh my god, got him. Okay, I knocked him down. My aim is so bad. Okay, got him. Uh, let me open his bag and take his stuff. Oh my god. This guy such good stuff. Okay. Let me reload. Oh no, 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 no. I need to reload. Uh, I got his teammate too. Okay, so I'm actually doing pretty good in PUBG right now. Uh, let me take his teammate's loot too. Okay, so in those game fights, I didn't notice any FPS drops, so that's good. Um, I'm just gonna keep moving. Actually, I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll just move on to the OnePlus 7T. Uh, so I'll stop the screen recording right now for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Okay, so I just clicked start um, a TDM match for Call of Duty Mobile on the OnePlus 7T. And it's loading me into the game right now. I'm kind of curious to see if the Snapdragon 855 Plus will give a gaming advantage to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, I know it has less RAM than the 7 Pro, but RAM isn't really a huge factor in gaming. And especially since I didn't have any apps open, so it might not affect it much. But the A55 Plus with the slightly higher clock speed uh, might give a slight edge in gaming performance, but I'm not sure if mobile apps can actually go over 60 frames per second. So that might not really be beneficial. So I see someone right now and I got him. Um, okay, so I'm running around the boat. Uh, there's an AFK guy in the back and some guy right here. Okay, so I got them both. Got this guy too. Oh, and they're all over here. Got my UAV out. Okay, so I'm going to their other spawn. Oh, I haven't died yet. Oh my god! I'm getting them all. Oh my god. 
Okay, I have a house storm coming right now, or whatever this missile thing is called. I got one guy, Predator Missile. Um, okay, I only got one guy. Okay, I'm getting my supply drop right now. I have not died yet. I'm going 11 to 0. Okay, I got another missile coming. Holy, there are so many people here. I only got two kills. Oh, okay, that's fine. We're going 24 to 4, so that's really, really good. 25 to 4 right now. Uh, running across the ship. Hopefully not going to get any deaths. That would be ideal. Okay, I'm running across the ship again. We're going 28 to 4. I see someone right here. Got him. Get my purifier out. Got this guy. Got him too. Oh. Oh my. No! Oh, got him. <laughs> I was calling out my UAV. Okay, another missile coming. Got this guy. We need two more people, and then we win. Just gonna call this five drop. I'm gonna use it. Thirty-eight to eight. So we're doing really good. Oh, see this guy right here. And last kill cam. Yes. Okay. Got the last two kills. Forty to nine. <laughs> oh yeah. Last kill cam. My aim isn't the best, but I'd say it's still pretty good. Uh, I don't know why I did much better on the 7T than the 7 Pro. Maybe it's because of the flat screen, but I don't know. It feels more immersive with the curved screen. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of kills. I wonder where my KD is. Okay, I got up to level 6. I want to see my KD first. I got 23 kills. Wow, oh, that's crazy. Okay, so that's enough for um, Call of Duty Mobile on the OnePlus 7T. Okay, now for Asphalt 9 on the OnePlus 7T. Uh, I'm just launching the game right now. And I'm gonna start as soon as possible. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. Okay. Okay, so now I'm a little more familiar with how to play again. Uh, I forgot I switched my controls from the stock control uh, for the OnePlus 7T, so I kind of forgot how to play. Okay, uh, I missed all the gas tanks, so that's not good. Oh, I knocked someone out. Knocked another guy out. Oh my, these people need to get out of my way. Okay, so the game feels equally as smooth on the 7T as the 7 Pro. I uh, did a flip in the air, and let's use Nitro again. Okay, so now I'm just zooming down the streets. Uh, I'm doing much better now that I'm more familiar with the game, and I had a little bit of practice. So I'm second place, so that's pretty good. No, I missed the finish line. Oh, I got second place. Oh, whatever, that's okay. So I'm going to end the screen record right now. And uh, I'm going to go over to PUBG, just like on the OnePlus 7 Pro, hopefully find some people and kill them. Okay, so now I'm in the starting island again, match starts in 50 seconds, 49. Uh, so I'm just going to start running around. And yet again, I have max settings on the OnePlus 7T, just like on the 7 Pro. And I'm just sprinting around, looking at the starting island. Just like with the 7 Pro, I'm going to be launching uh, from the plane immediately so that I can hopefully find some people and um, get some interesting gameplay. So far the 7T isn't really getting that hot, it's not that warm either, and of course this is going to depend on your ambient room temperature. Right now, the room temperature is really cold. I know it's less than 20 degrees Celsius or around 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Match starts in 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're on the plane. Okay, I'm gonna jump right now and uh, go into any random spot.
Okay, so I'm running on the grass right now, and it still looks really smooth. Uh, the colors look pretty similar. The sky is really blue, the green is... The grass is really green. Uh, the trees look pretty detailed as well. And I don't notice a huge difference between 1440p and 1080p, um, especially on such a small screen. Okay, so I'm running inside a house right now and getting this SMG and some ammo. I don't think I'm gonna find anyone yet. It might take a while. So right now I'm running through the grass. It looks really smooth still. I'm jumping up and down and looking side to side, trying to make the game stutter. But it's still really smooth. I'd say probably 60 frames per second at least, but I'm not sure. It could be 30 frames per second, but it still looks pretty smooth. Oh, someone's shooting me. That's good. Okay. This guy's running. He's hiding behind a tree. I'm gonna get this guy. There he is. Oh, and he's dead. Okay. And they're dead. Time to take their loot. Oh, that's some pretty good stuff. Okay, so now that I had time to compare the OnePlus 7T and the 7 Pro in terms of gaming, I have to say that there wasn't really a huge difference between them. I did, however, perform a lot better on the 7T than the 7 Pro, but I don't think this is because of the specs of the phones. I think this is mostly due to um, having practice on the 7 Pro and then going on the 7T. I don't think that the Snapdragon 855 Plus is a good enough reason to just get the 7T over the 7 Pro just because of performance, because they perform nearly identically. A higher clock CPU on a smartphone isn't going to perform significantly better than uh, the predecessor because for smartphones, I think uh, frame rate is usually capped to 60 frames per second or something like that. Yeah, I didn't notice a difference at all. And also in terms of RAM management, I didn't have many apps open at the background, so there weren't really any hiccups on either of these phones. So I don't think you can go wrong with either of them. So I'll also show some pictures of benchmarks just to let you see a small difference between them. And I'm not gonna actually read the, out the numbers because as I said before, it's a really small difference between them. The 7T has a slightly higher single core performance and, as well as multi-core, I think. Okay, so the OnePlus 7T and the 7 Pro are really similar in performance. I did not notice a huge difference between them. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video comparing the OnePlus 7T and 7 Pro. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. As always, links for either of these phones will be in the description down below as well as accessories. And if you do purchase from them, they are affiliate links so I do earn a tiny bit of commission from them, but it does not come at an additional cost to you. Thank you for watching.